Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Bus, a poem by Arun Kolatkar. This poem is the opening poem in his book Jejuri. And in Jejuri, he has written 31 poem, which is a takedown of religious hypocrisy in modern India. And for this, he won the Commonwealth Prize for Poetry in 1976. And Jejuri tells the story of his 1963 journey to a famous Hindu temple. And this is an experience that led him to reflect on the withering away of old traditions and made him long for new sources of meaning. In the poem, The Bus, he describes the uncomfortable beginning of this pilgrimage. The ride to Jejuri. Jejuri is a city in India. He says it's bumpy since he is shut in a bus with covered windows and no view. But the only view he has is his own divided face mirrored in an old man's glasses who is seated opposite to him. This old man bears the mark of a religious devotee and creates a contrast with the skeptical speaker who seems conflicted with this journey and unable to step beyond his own thoughts even as he longs for a wider perspective and understanding. This poem, The Bas, is a richly symbolic meditation on faith, doubt, isolation and the desire for meaning in a changing world. The speaker referring to him in the second person as you describes riding in a bus whose canvas window flaps are kept buttoned closed all the way to Jejuri, a city in India. The wind makes the window flaps whip around at the speaker's side. The speaker looks down the road as it rows past and looks for a hint of dawn in the little bit of light that falls out of the bus's closed windows. But the only view the speaker gets is of his own face doubly reflected in the lens of an old man's glasses. The speaker feels as if he is moving endlessly forward towards some point just beyond the mark of the old man wearing vest on his forehead to show his social class. Outside the bus, the speaker notices the sun has risen. A beam shoots in through a lace hole in the window covering and hits the old man's glasses. Another sunbeam hits the driver softly in the side of the head, resting there like a shotgun. The speaker can feel the bus changing direction. When the speaker gets off the bus at the end of the long rough journey, during which he has felt his own face reflecting in the old man's glasses, he doesn't imagine what it is like to be the old man. The poem goes like this. The tarpaulin flaps are buttoned down on the windows of the state transport bus all the way up to Jejuri. So he says it is night time and the tarpaulin which uh, is a cover for the windows is actually buttoned down. And he's traveling by the st uh, state's transport bus and he is going to Jejuri which is a city in India. A cold wind keeps whipping and slapping a corner of tarpaulin at your elbow. So here he has kept his hands in the window and the tarpaulin because of the wind is flapping at his elbow. You look down to the roaring road. You search for the signs of daybreak in what little light spills out of bus. So as he is travelling he is looking at the road. And also is looking out whether the sun is rising and the day will start with outside the bus. Your own divided face in the pair of glasses on an old man's nose is all the countryside you get to see. Because it is dark and because the windows are closed, he is not able to see anything except his own face which is reflected in an old man's glass. And since the in there are two glasses, he can see Two images of his own face in that man's glasses. You seem to move continually forward toward a destination just beyond the caste mark beyond his eyebrows. Now this old man has a caste mark beyond his eyebrows. And here the poet says that the speaker, that is he is speaking to the person who is seated there, which is actually himself. He says you are moving forward. And you are moving towards the place where you have to reach. That is your destination. And your destination is just beyond the caste mark of this old man. 
Outside, the sun has risen quietly. It aims through an eyelet in the tarpaulin and shoots at the old man's glasses. He says, now the sun has risen. And these tarpaulins will have a small hole to tie the lace. And through that, the sun rises enter and it shoots at the old man's glasses. A sword of sunbeam comes to rest gently against the driver's right temple. The bus seems to change direction. At the same time, the driver's uh, temple, right temple also receives one of the sunbeam which comes and lands on him softly and he can feel the bus changing its direction. Sir. At the end of bumpy ride with your own face on the either side when you get off the bus sir. and finally this bumpy ride comes to an end and he gets off the bus and he says, you don't step inside the old man's head. Now he says, don't start thinking about yourself in your old age. And that is what he means by step inside the old man's head. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.